And tomorrow morning is the funeral for Captain Melton, where hundreds of police officers from all across the nation will attend. The day before he died, Captain Melton actually finished a report on what to do after an officer dies and what to do for the funeral arrangements. Of course, this was made following Detective Brad Lancaster's service. You know, there's so much respect and honor, of course, that goes into an officer funeral. The bagpipes, the drums, and, of course, the ceremonial walk in front of the casket. It is such a moving experience. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live at Children's Mercy Park where that funeral will be held. And Ali, you talked to a woman who lost her husband in the line of duty. Yeah, that's right. Laura Miller Harmon says that the Milton family should be prepared for a massive amount of support here tomorrow. She says three decades after a gunman shot and killed her husband, it's something she remembers. He was the love of my life, my soulmate. The father of my daughter. If you walk past Kansas City, Missouri Police Headquarters, you can see Philip Miller's name engraved on this fallen officer's memorial. It may be on the wall, but it's he's forever in my heart. In 1983, Laura Miller Harmon's husband, Philip Miller, died while on patrol. The recent deaths of KCK Detective Brad Lancaster and Captain Dave Melton take her back to the day her husband lost his life. While responding to an alarm call here at Westport High School, Officer Miller saw someone running from the building. He eventually found the man hiding in a driveway. There was a scuffle, and he was shot and killed with his own gun. I know the pain that the families are going to be going through. Uh, it's not just right now, but it's forever. Laura says the day her husband was laid to rest is somewhat of a blur. She does remember the sound. Hearing the taps, uh, the 21 gun flew, uh, still my heart. She has this advice for the family of Captain Melton as they prepare to lay the fallen police captain to rest. Just know that people care, um, that they will never be forgotten, that they, they have a, a wonderful family out there, that, you know, family in blue. Officer Miller's killer was up for parole recently, and that was denied. Live in KCK, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News.